you have immense experience in the do. What is the do of rising cases, the do of even rising deaths, if not as bad as March? Thank you, and thank you for having me here. This is, you know, we are in unprecedented times. Um, the last time we have had this kind of a pandemic was over a century ago. Uh, it's not one thing. It's a lot of things and a lot of players that need to come to the table. And the residents of this country need to be stepping up as well. Uh, the federal government has been doing a lot. The efforts uh, to um, advance a vaccine, um, to advance the monoclonal antibodies, about which we might be hearing really soon, um, have really progressed at speed that's unprecedented. That's incredible news. Um, but uh, the governments have tried to step up and try to um, reinforce a lot of the uh, public health measures that we know work really well. It has been a challenge. Um, until we have a vaccine <clears throat> right. widely available, it, it is going to be social distancing and masks. Okay, let me cut to the chase. I had an elected public official tell me they can't force people, in this case, to wear masks. In Asia, that's not the case. There seems to be a very strict government. This is the way we're going to do it in Asia. Why can't we approach that in the United States of America? I think this is a, a question for um, people with legal backgrounds. I mean, we're a different country. We have a different culture and we have different standards. We have uh, a democracy. It, it does make it much more challenging uh, than, than it is in, in, in other countries. There's no doubt about it. Mar and that's why it, it's, it's much harder for us to deal with it. Marta, the most terrifying article that I read today was in the Financial Times, and it was about the cases in Europe and how a growing proportion of them are a mutation of COVID uh, that really seems to have generated from Spain. How concerned are you about the virus getting ahead of our science, about this virus mutating to a point where all of these vaccines and treatments become obsolete? I am not nearly as worried about this. This is not a virus that actually mutates in uh, very quickly. Um, so there have been changes with the virus uh, that have uh, allowed it to spread much more quickly, which is disconcerting. Um, I am uh, quite confident that I think we actually uh, will uh, be able to have uh, reasonably effective uh, vaccines and, uh, and the monoclonal antibodies are promising themselves to be actually also very effective. The challenge there is going to actually be um, to, to really um, uh, manufacture enough quantity and get it to people fast enough.